Welcome back to Dexter Ranch. Today's video, I'm gonna be answering the question, how much hay will a Dexter cow eat? Uh, the cows are currently out of hay and voicing their opinion about it. So I'm gonna go take care of that problem and then I'll be back to answer the question in detail, how much hay will a Dexter cow eat? Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to Dexter Ranch yet, please consider doing so and let's go do it. All right, guys, here we are. Got some hay on the ground and the cows are happy again. Uh, before I answer the question of how much hay will a Dexter cow eat, I wanna say that these cows don't eat any uh, grain supplement or any other thing besides hay and mineral. Uh, I'm going for a grass-fed operation here, so uh, that's what we're doing. With that being said, uh, I'm currently going through one of these round bales every six days. These round bales on an average weigh about a thousand pounds. Uh, I have 10 full grown Dexter cows on the farm. Uh, so if you do the math there, each one of these cows is consuming about a hundred pounds during the, that six days or 16 pounds a day per head. Uh, another way to calculate that is uh, based on body weight and uh, you can do 2% of a cow's body weight to figure out how much hay it will consume a day. And these cows weigh on average 800 pounds a piece. And so that calculation of 2% of 800 is also 16 pounds. Um, so <clears throat> that number can fluctuate just a little bit during the Beginning of the winter, I was going through seven. I was getting seven days uh, out of one of these round bales, and now I'm down to six. So, uh, you know, it's gotten a little bit colder outside, and they're having to utilize a little bit more energy to stay warm. So their intake is up just a little bit. All right, guys, so there you have it. 16 pounds per head per day is a good number to figure on when you're trying to figure out how much hay you're going to need for your Dexter cows. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out in this video is that whenever I first started thinking about getting Dexter cattle and before I went into that first winter, I just figured that I would go and buy square, square bills because obviously they're a lot easier to deal with. I didn't own the equipment necessary to move a large, a large round bale around my farm. So uh, in my head, I just thought, no big deal. I'll just buy square bales. Uh, and I just didn't know that it just doesn't make sense. So I, I wanted to pass that on. If you're, if you're thinking about getting into cattle, don't, uh, and you plan on having more than one or maybe two at the most cattle on your farm, don't count on buying square bales. Um, you're gonna ultimately end up needing to bring round bales to your farm. Uh, just do the do the math, figure up what square bales cost in your area and an average weight of those square bales, and then look at the price of uh, round bales in your area, and you'll figure out real quickly that it just does not make sense. It's not even close to making sense to buy square bales. So, uh, so that's the video, guys. Hope you liked it. If you did, uh, like share it with your friends and family and uh, leave your comments down below and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.